It's always fun to have a special dessert for the 4th of July. So today I'm making a red, white, and blue parfait with ice cream, a rhubarb blueberry sauce, some fresh raspberries, and a little surprise at the top. First of all, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this sauce. You can make it tomorrow if you want. Start ahead, keep it in the fridge, and when you're ready to serve dessert, you can put it together really quick. The sauce, I've already started, so I put three cups of sliced rhubarb and a half cup of brown sugar into a medium-sized saucepan. I cooked it on medium-low heat for about 10 minutes, and you can see that the rhubarb broke down. It's kind of thick and jammy. That's exactly what you want. Then I'm going to add two cups of fresh blueberries. You could use frozen if you've got that and a little bit of grated zest. That's the grated zest from one lemon. And remember, the zest is just the colored part of the peeling. And one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. And I'm going to stir that up, put it back on the heat, and cook it probably for another 10 minutes. I'll mash it a little bit while it's cooking so that the blueberries break down a little bit too. And right at the end of the cooking time, I'm going to add just a half teaspoon of cornstarch that I mix with just a little couple, maybe a teaspoon of water. Then use your clean finger and just mix it up so you know that that cornstarch is all dissolved. And then you can add it. I would add it at the end of the cooking time and then just let it cook a little bit longer until it's nice and thick and you'll wind up with a beautiful sauce like this. See how thick it is? Now this is good on um, not only ice cream, but you can put it on pancakes and waffles and toast. You'll find lots of uses for it. Then, the surprise topping, take your favorite pastry dough, cut it into little star shapes, bake it at 350 for about 10 minutes, and those little stars are going to be our topping on our parfait. I'm gonna start with a little bit of sauce in the serving dish and then a nice scoop of ice cream. You can use vanilla or really any flavor you want. And then a little bit more sauce. A few fresh raspberries because we want that nice red. And at the top, one of our little baked pastry stars. And there we have a fun 4th of July red, white, and blue parfait. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.